Hello, my name is Professor Valdez Gant, and I'm here to instruct you on how to access your midterm and final exams for Math 1314 College Algebra. So the first thing that you'll need to do is identify whether you're going to take a test at a Dallas County Community College Testing Center or whether you will need to take one at another approved proctor location. Uh, most of you um, if you are living within the DFW area, then you can go to a, a testing center within one of the Dallas County Community Colleges. Um, if you're outside the DFW area, then you should have already sent me a proctor nomination form so that I can approve your proctor location. Okay, So when you arrive at your Dallas County Community College Testing Center, if you're taking it at the North Lake campus, then more than likely it will be an online test. If you're taking it at another Dallas County location, it may be given to you in paper form or it may be given to you in uh, an electronic form, like how it is at North Lake. Um, once you get there, um, you'll, you'll know which one to do based upon what's available. Um, right now, I'm going to go through the um, electronic access to the test for the paper version. If you have the paper version, then once you just fill out all the information to, um, you know, like my name, what test you're taking, what math, math class you're in, and section, then they'll just hand you the paper and then you'll just work on that. So that process is pretty simple. But for accessing it online, First, you'll need to go to eCampus. So once you walk into the testing center, you'll fill out the test request form that says, hey, I'm taking um, with the midterm or final exam for Math 1314. My professor's last name is Gant and uh, my section number. And so after that, they will take your information, sit you down in front of a computer, and then what you'll need to do is log into eCampus and so here's where we are at this point so after you log into eCampus we will want you to click on the community tab after you click on the community tab the next thing you will need to do is find where it says NLC 2013 spring math 1314 testing okay afterwards you will need to click on INET testing and here, all this information is just telling you stuff about eCampus once you get in and actually take your exam. I'll go over this um, once we're done with this process. So next after that, we'll click on midterm and final exams. And once we're here, if you're going to take your midterm, you will need to click here. If you take your final exam, you'll need to click here. So the main thing is that once you're in this point, once we're done with this process, you'll actually see the test. What we're going to do is just do the practice test to give you an idea of what it may look like. So although you'll be clicking either here or here in the testing center, we'll click this for now. All right, once you're here, you'll come here. I've already went through this again, so I have to get it to set up this way. So once you clicked on um, the practice test, it'll show up like this. And for your actual test, it'll just say midterm exam A or final exam. And so at this point, you're going to wait for the people in the testing center to type in the password. For this practice one, the password is practice. So we'll just type that in. Practice. Afterwards, you'll see some wording here, and all this is telling you is go down and click on the link for your test. So this will say either midterm exam, A, B, or whatever, or final exam, depending on um, whether you're taking the midterm or final exam. Since this is a practice test, we're just going to click on practice test here. And once you're at this point, 
if you're taking an actual exam, it will say midterm exam or final exam. It will have the directions and whatnot, and your test will show up here. And so from this point, the testing center that you're taking the test in should provide you with paper, any graphing paper that you may need, and um, you'll just take that, write down all your questions on there, and just make sure that you give back all your work plus scratch paper plus any graph paper that you need or that you used um, when submitting your test to the people in the testing center. And after that, if you're taking it at North Lake, I should get your test within 24 hours. Um, if you're taking it at another campus, it will probably be about a week before I get your exam. Whether you're taking it via paper or taking it online here through eCampus. All right, now one thing I do want to clear up is that you will not be entering in your answers in eCampus. You will be writing down all questions um, like how um, you would do when you were doing your homework. You would need to write down what the question is, um, write down some steps or whatnot for your answer, and just make sure everything is nice and neat. So there's nothing being entered into eCampus. You're just going to write down a question, write down your answer, make sure I can read everything. Okay. All right. All of this information here plus the stuff that we saw in the beginning I told you I was going to get back to basically says this. Once you log into eCampus, you have about three hours before it times out. So what that means is, is that if you plan on or you see that you're in the testing center for around a three hour mark, then, uh, or you think that you'll be in there for three hours or longer, you need to write down all the questions that you see on the test um, before you get started. Okay? Or if you realize that, hey, you know, I'm kind of running over, then you may want to write down the rest of the questions. Um, and be careful to make sure that you write down the, the correct thing. So, reason for that, we don't want any issues as far as you not being able to uh, remember the questions or whatnot or have access to them. The other thing, once, you're, once you've pulled up the test, you can just scroll up and down on the test. Do not minimize or maximize the screen after you've actually accessed the test originally. Um, also, do not go to any other website. Do not uh, try to go to pull up another web browser or anything like that because the testing center will consider those types actions as cheating. So we want to avoid those type situations. So once you pull up the test, just scroll up and down. That's, that's all you need to do. Okay. All right. So that concludes this portion of just showing you how to access the online test for Math 1314. Now what I want to do is go back into the courses part of our particular course and show you some of the particulars on you know how to prepare for your exam and all and all that good stuff. So we're going back to courses and then we'll go back into our course here and then the information specific info for the midterm and final can be found in lesson units. So here I'm going to click on midterm exam just to show you what that looks like. So arranging to take the midterm. So first thing, you should have chosen your testing site already. Okay, If it was outside the DFW area or not at a Dallas County Community College testing center, then I should have received a form by now. Notify me that you're going to take the exam. Um, if you haven't done so, please do that and then verify your testing center hours. Your test is not timed, but you do need to be aware of when your testing center opens and closes and what time you'll be able to be there because you'll be limited by the, the closing hours or opening hours for the testing center, okay? And again, this is the uh, proctor nomination form for anyone who won't be taking a test at a Dallas County Community College testing site. Okay. Next, what to take with you. So you want to say that 
you're taking the midterm exam for Valdez Gantt Math 1314 College Algebra, and this is an internet cross campus test. Okay, and so you'll need to have your photo ID here, or you know, driver's license or something like that. Make sure you bring pencils, bring your own calculator, um, and you're going to write on the exam copy if you're writing it on paper. If if you're doing this electronically, then what you'll be doing is they'll give you a blank sheet of paper and you'll write down the questions and all the answers. Okay. Um, if at all possible, do not take your exam in ink. So um, you know you, you really do need to have pencils. I mean, if you take it in ink, then you know, I can't really say anything, but um, it's just much easier to deal with if you don't take your exam in ink and part of the reason for this is when once I grade your papers and send them back to you via email um, there needs to be some distinction in between my writing and yours and so um, it's a little easier to see that if you don't take the exam in ink okay because I'll be writing in ink as well to grade your exam and so um, please put your name course section and my name uh, on each page just to make sure that if some page gets gets uh, out of order or whatnot then we know where it came from all right last thing what to study so here uh, the main thing I want to point out here is uh, the formulas so when you go to your testing center especially if it's, if it's at North Lake, you will already have an equation sheet of the equations that we allow you to have already on the exam. Okay. Um, as far as what to study, I would say you need to make sure that you can do the mastery test, all three of them for the midterm, mastery test one, two, and three, and make sure that you can make uh, at least anywhere between 85 to 90. That'll probably prepare you the best for this exam. Other than that, um, make sure that when you're taking the mastery test that you're not peeking at any of your notes. You just need to open it up and do it. Um, if you need assistance on anything while taking these mastery tests, then it's something you still don't know. And you need to go back and look over it, or if it's still unclear, you can always give me a call or email me to get some clarification on it. Okay, that's the best way to study for these exams. And similar thing will be for the final exam. I'm not going to go through that, but it'll have the same type deal, arranging for the final exam, what to take with you as well as what to study for okay and that information can be found here so this concludes the video for accessing the midterm and final exams for math 1314 college algebra north lake college